Hello and welcome to Tight. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about the last third part of this amazing timesheet in Power BI Pageant reports. I hope you have seen the previous two videos. If you haven't seen that, just check out the link given on top of your screen. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. Again, for a quick recap, I'm just going to just briefly introduce in 30 seconds that we just imported the Excel file into this SQL server using DTS. And from there, we connected these two pageant reports. And in that, we have created this matrix table and that we can distinguish between the shifts here. Now, the business requirement has changed. What they need is, instead of showing the shift numbers here, they just need the employee name and then the shifts here. They don't want the shift numbers here on the left side. Without that, we are not able to achieve this one, what you are looking at here. One, two, three is there and we can see there are four shifts are here. So there is a workaround over there. For the design view, I am just going to copy this for our reference and keep it here. And now on the right click here and properties, I am going to use this filter here. Of this matrix and click add and in employee name i'm just going to equal to ed because we can just see the ed details like the same way okay let's delete this one you can copy this and paste here on the bottom of this now you run this report you can able to see just the ed information now we have the same thing here now the business requirement is we want to remove the ship numbers here when I try to remove this here, I click and then delete column. It is asking for a message, delete columns and associated groups or delete only columns. I also need to delete both of them. So click OK. And now if you look at this, it's just only one row. This is not correct. So you can go back to this one. Control C. I'm again deleting this one delete column and here it is saying delete columns and associated groups and delete columns only now i'm selecting this option delete columns only and then click ok if you can see it is still here so if you go and run here now you can see this difference between this and this is there's no shift column here and still we can see the three shift assigned to him there's another way actually so it's going back again, control C and delete columns. So delete columns and associated groups, click OK. Now to run again, we can see just only one column here, right? Not a problem. Let's go to design view again. Select this and if you click on this employee name, or uh, there's a little icon here, drop down like so we'll click here, down arrow, and go to group properties. Here under the general tab, you have this group on employee name. So you can click add here and on group on first by employee name and on the RN. First group on employee name and on RN. So click OK and let's see this report. Yes. We got the same result. Cool, right? So this is the one of the way so you can get this exactly this information from the matrix whether the business need this or not. What I'm trying to say is if there's a multiple rows in a column for an each and every employee, we can still show it on different different rows without adding a separate column for that. There are two ways actually I have shown here creating the column and then deleting the column, but keeping the group by or else you can just use this option to add the group by properties in that. Now we have done those things, right? So I will keep the first one for now and I'm going to remove the filter as well. Now I'm going to filter the ED as well, the employee name. So right click this one and table X properties and in the filters, click select here and then delete. So click OK. Now you can see it is showing for all the employees here. 
now it remains for the final touch so we need to add the report name the page numbers and then it has to align in a single page because as this is going to be a printout page so we need to align those things here i have not covered so far so i'm going to cover in this video as well so go to design here you can give it a name here time sheet and this is the one and this is execution time here you can just realign this and i don't need this one to be here Um, one more thing I just want to say here. If you notice, if I run this report, if you notice, there is a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday is there, right? So how I can bring this one is, initially it was just the name, the shift, number, type is there. This is what initially it was. But actually it is not easy to understand with the help of dates. It is easy if you have the weekday name on that. In order to achieve that, as everybody knows, this is a shift column. So I'm going to delete this here. And so click here. There is a column weekday. It is already available on the data set. So clicking on this one, that's it. You got the same result here. So 2 1 is Monday, 2 2 is Tuesday, 2 3 is Wednesday. Okay, this is the US timings for that. Now we need to set up the page here. So click run again to so click on this one print layout it is not look like the same here so what we need to do is we need to go back here and we can expand this a bit and then we can just pull this down shift start time so that we can save space and you need to right click this one and the blank area of the gray section and then report properties if you go here, you can just set the pages here. Now, uh, this is going to be a uh, five days, so it is better to be in the landscape. So, landscape, I'm setting it to be A4, and these are the margins, so let it be click OK now. Now, let's have a look at the report. Still, um, it is showing three dates here, but it is not correct as per our expectation, right? So, it's still, we have lots of space for this and this here, so you can further reduce this one. I'm going to reduce this and also this one. So let's save and run. As you can see, there is lots of space on the borders here. So we need to reduce that as well. So right click properties. And here I just did centimeter. So lots of space here. So it is one to be 0 0.25, 0. 5, the margins here 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 click ok and run now 1 2 3 4 5 now it is set to 5 pages but when you go to the next page there is no headings here it is good to have the headings over there as well right okay so we can just minimize this a bit okay so you need to right click here and then table properties this is the one and here you need to take here repeat headers column on each page because these are the columns so we need the column headers if it is a row then it will repeat the employee name on each and every page but for the column headers we will repeat the dates and the day so click ok and run now timesheet is there and this employee name static here and also for the next page as well. I believe you get lots of information with this series of three videos in making up amazing time sheet in Power BI Paginate Report. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you like this concept of making a small series of the videos for the long concept, just put it in your comments on the comment section below. If you have any queries and feedback as well, just put it on the comment section below. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. And also there is a join button in my channel. If you're not yet a member of our channel, just hit the join button to know in detail about it. Share it with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.